Hi everyone, my name is Owen Magabinao and welcome to HYVA which stands for Hire Your Virtual Assistant dot com and what I do on my blog is every now and then I come across a tool that I think entrepreneurs you know need to you know pay attention to because I think it will be useful for them and let me give you some quick in, uh, history as to how I came across uh, Mobify dot me uh, I'm currently going through a process of redesigning my website and I realized that I need to create a mobile version of my website and doing some research found a tool that I feel you know will be useful to you guys and part of the process of trying to learn about this tool I go out there and find the people responsible for the tool and today I have Igor Foletsky the CEO and co-founder of uh, founder of Mobify.me to come on the show so go ahead Igor introduce yourself to my audience first of all Hey guys, uh, thank you Owen. My name is Igor and I'm with a company called Mobify. Uh, we're a mobile web company. We help entrepreneurs, um, publishers, enterprise companies uh, embrace the mobile web by making their existing desktop sites uh, look and feel amazing on any mobile device. So whether you have an iPhone, an Android or a Blackberry, um, if you use Mobify you can make your site show up and uh, work really fast and uh, make your mobile users really happy. So we work with uh, hundreds of web designers around the world, uh, big publishers like Condé Nast, uh, and even e-commerce retailers because mobile commerce is very hot. Uh, yeah. People are buying a lot of things on their cell phones now, and um, uh, Mobify is, uh, is doing the best uh, it can to make that experience easier. So I'm really happy to be here uh, with you guys today, and I look forward to answering your questions about the mobile web uh, and the way it's, it's, it's evolving. Thank you, Owen, for having me. Definitely. You know, one of the things is... Uh, you know, why do people, entrepreneurs, even need to even get a mobile version of their website in the first place? Right. Is that definitely a question that we think about a lot in North America? Uh, because, you know, you have a desktop site. Do you really need a mobile site? But if you look at other markets uh, like Japan or India or Africa, mobile is the first screen they get. Um, they don't have desktop sites there. They have mobile sites, and that's the Internet for them. And I think in North America and Europe, we're seeing a big shift uh, uh, in terms of people's attention uh, going from desktop to mobile, uh, all these iPhone, Android devices being so people check their emails all day long on mobile devices, they click links. And if they encounter a desktop site that has flash, that is not showing up, that's slow, that's hard to read, they'll leave. So if you're an entrepreneur trying to build a business, trying to make your users happy, uh, naturally you want to be there uh, with them and make sure that their experience on mobile or on desktop is amazing. And uh, uh, I think uh, there's definitely mobile uh, this year. I lost year. you for a minute. Uh, Skype, we had Skype connection issues. What was the last point you made? I was just saying that uh, mobile is becoming a, a, a very important screen in North America as well. Mm -hmm. And every entrepreneur that wants to reach their audience uh, should be either starting with the mobile site uh, or optimizing their existing properties for mobile uh, as fast as possible. Definitely. And I mean, because the whole process of even going through a regular uh, website design way, like uh, you know, a website that works on your regular desktop, that itself is an issue. And uh, one might be thinking, oh, now I have to create a whole different website for mobile. You know, just the thought of it might be mind-boggling. I'm talking from my own perspective initially. You know, so I'm assuming that other people who who have ideas to you know go mobile have the same feeling. You know, help us understand why that this that might not be the case. Right. Well, um, do you browse the internet on your cell phone today? I do. That, my iPhone. It's uh, Browse Central. <laughs> awesome. So where do you usually go? What kind of sites do you, do you frequent? Well, I mean, I, I go to uh, blogs that I use uh, to get information on you know, other uh, you know, entrepreneurs I want to learn from. And you know, for sometimes for my own business itself, for the outsourcing business, go and find uh, you know, providers that can help us out with, with certain things that we need to do you know, to join our team and all that. So sometimes you might just be on the go and you need to get on the internet and, well, hence this uh, iPhone. You go on there and right. look at it. Right. So um, you probably noticed that some sites are better than others uh, when you go there on the iPhone. They're fast. There's no zooming and pinching required. All the content is available. Uh, it's very clear and it's a pleasure to browse. And you might be wondering, how do I do that? But it's actually not that um, difficult to get started. Uh, to have a good mobile site, you have to really think about prioritizing content people want on mobile. Uh, maybe your latest news stories if you're a publisher, or your uh, hottest selling items if you're an online retailer. Uh, so you have to give people the most important things right away, because on mobile, 
if they have no patience. They might be running around somewhere in a car. Uh, their time is limited. Definitely. And once you do that, make sure that whatever phone they have, yeah, you have to make sure that whatever phone they have, um, your site works and it's also fast to load. That's what Mobify does. We let people express themselves um, uh, in our mobile design tools and design the perfect mobile experience. Um, and then we automatically adjust this mobile design for all the different phones that are out there uh, coming out every day. Uh, so um, it's, it's very easy to get started. It's really about picking the right content, making it look good, and optimizing the mobile site for uh, all the different phones uh, that are out there in the market. So let me see if I get this correctly so I can explain it uh, to the audience. Basically, instead of trying to go out there and you know record your entire website into you know uh, 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 the different platforms, you know, compatible with different platform, iPhone, Android, and whatever, you basically have a, a, a system or a interface where they can go in there to your tool and makes it so easy that they can, you know, you know highlight which parts of their websites they want to have uh, uh, a mobile version of, and then your your platform handles the hard work and. You know, does that for them automatically, I guess. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, when we look at the internet, we see that almost everybody already has a website uh, that works uh, well, that has the content on it, um, and uh, it would be very hard to start the entire internet from scratch. So we think there should be definitely some connection between existing uh, desktop web and the mobile web, um, and uh, that's exactly what Mobify Studio R tool does. It lets you take your website mobile by starting with what you already have, and making a perfect mobile interface out of it. Definitely. And uh, one question I have, this is for me personally, is also my website is run on a WordPress engine. I guess it's run on WordPress. Does yeah. Mobify allow the site to be converted into a, you know, a mobile version of the site as well? Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, actually, if your site is running on WordPress, on Drupal, on Expression Engine, pretty much any popular CMS system out there, Mobify is a great match for it. Uh, one thing that is shared by all the WordPress sites is that they're very clean. Uh, the content is uh, is very well positioned. And uh, Mobify takes advantage of that and lets you remix it the way you like it on mobile uh, with full control over uh, the interface. So yeah, definitely WordPress, uh, Drupal, uh, anything with uh, you know made out of HTML uh, will work with Mobify. Definitely. And, and I have a question because this is something that is even confusing to me. There's a site I love to go a lot which is uh, called um, Mashable.com. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's Mashable. Just, yeah, it's yep. like a social media website with all the good information about social media and, you know, and all that. And when you go on that website, they have a, a, a mobile version of the website. And at the same time, they keep, you know, there's a pop-up that shows up that tries to get you to download the app, right? So if I yeah. I downloaded the app, I'm trying to understand, you know, someone who might be in the same shoe as myself, What's the difference between a mobile version of the, ha the, the for, of the website and also the app, which basically also does show into uh, uh, content from the website? What, what's the difference, really? Right. Well, uh, um, they're kind of trying to accomplish the same goal. Apps and websites are trying to make it easier for users to follow what you do as an entrepreneur to read your content. Um, apps were there earlier. Um, I guess iPhone apps were really popular. Uh, last year and the year before that because they provided a very rich interface. They're smooth, you know. Um, you can charge money for them. But that's how you monetize uh, your, your mobile projects. So they're really good. But now browsers are catching up in visual quality. And apps are great for um, a good visual experience, but the issue with them is that they're not cross-platform. iPhone apps don't necessarily work on Android. Um, and uh, they don't really support links, you know. Uh, somebody like Mashable, they want all their social media links to be going to a destination that's mobile friendly yeah. and they have a good mobile site because of that. Um, so now we're seeing mobile websites being uh, complementary uh, with applications and I think the f in the future websites will be even more prominent specifically because they work on every device or most devices and because they support SEO, they uh, work with links, they support affiliate programs, they do all these important things for business that are not necessarily a part of applications today. Definitely. So I guess what, what what I'm hearing from that really is that the apps that we see is really uh, um, specific to the, the type of phone. So if it's a, a win, uh, iPhone, there's an iPhone app. 
which is specific to iPhone, and if it's an Android, it's an Android app that's specific to that specific device. But if you also go to the extra mile of creating a mobile version of the website, it then now allows your website to be able to basically cross-platform on different uh, uh, mediums now. So you're not specific to a specific uh, uh, machine or iPhone or phone, but with the mobile version, it, it displays on different browsers on different phones, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And think about the mobile market. You know, iPhone just launched on Verizon. Uh, there's new Android phones launching every week. And uh, uh, it's getting harder and harder to develop applications that account for every possible use case. But the web is, is built for this. The web is built for experiences that kind of work on any computer that has a browser. And mobile is increasingly following uh, the way the web evolved. Uh, so uh, it's definitely very exciting to see just the, the huge growth in mobile traffic on the web today. And um, uh, definitely we think that it will shift more and more towards websites as opposed to, to applications which were pretty big in the past couple of years. Definitely. I, I like that point that you made. And um, this one thing, I don't know, uh, I'm, I'm trying to even understand it myself too, is this whole idea of HTML5. Uh, how does that play towards you know, uh, mobile websites and making it be more cross-platform uh, enabled? I mean... First of all, explain right. to us what that is in the first place, because I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. Sure. HTML5 is a, a kind of an umbrella term that's used to combine the latest web innovation. All the latest JavaScript, CSS3, uh, you know, video techniques are now called HTML5 to describe the next uh, innovation in web browsing and web content. And the key thing about new mobile devices, especially iPhone and Android, and also um Palm OS devices that they support HTML5 on mobile. So, for okay. example, you can now look at QuickTime videos. Uh, you know, they don't have a Flash component on your phone. Uh, you can have really advanced um, features and interaction uh, done in the browser in a cross-platform way. So, HTML5 is is a term that you know you know the Web 2.0 term we used to have a few years yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's kind of not very specific. It describes a whole bunch of things, but you know it when somebody's Web 2.0 and when, when it was that. Yeah. So HTML5 is this new buzzword that describes all the new things that are happening, and it only means good things for the mobile web because all mobile browsers right now that are coming out are HTML5 friendly. Definitely. So the audience have been waiting to you know, to really get into the, and dive into the tool of you know Mobify and see how it works. So. When you're ready, let's go ahead and show them a demo of you know how Mobifile works. I'm eager to learn. Sure, it. sure, for sure. So for anybody in the audience right now who has their cell phone in their pocket or in their hand, uh, why don't you type in wired.com uh, because I'm going to be doing a demo using Wired's mobile site, uh, which is powered by Mobify. Yeah. So go to wired.com and uh, let me show you how the team at Wired uh, built their site using Mobify Studio. Okay, so let me... Oh, All right, my, so my phone as well. For sure. Let me know if you see the screen, Owen. It should be shared right about. It, was there a way that we could have done a like a share screen where they can actually see it, uh, you know, live on the video? Is that possible? Uh, yeah, I'm just turning that on actually, and uh, let me know if you see my screen. It should be sharing it. Demo. Okay. So everyone, we are now started. We're about to get into the demo of you know, so you guys can see how. Uh, Mobifier helps you to, you know, turn your websites into mobile uh, mobile web 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 versions. So go ahead. Right. Thank you. So um, you are opening the Wired.com um, site on your phones, and here is the Mobify Studio Toolkit, which is used by um, uh, the web designers on Wired to make that mobile site happen. So the first screen of Mobify Studio is called the Choose screen. Here we pick mobile content. Right. Um, as a web designer, you might be asking yourself, what is the most important story of today? And in Momify, you can just point and click content that is most important. And when, some, when somebody comes on their cell phone to this page, they will see only the most important content and not everybody else. So it's important to start with the basics and really uh, pick things that are high priority. So I picked this block, which includes a story about Obama and um, the iPhone 4 and the Wired logo. I can also go in and pick more things. I can insert ads from Google, from uh, from AdMob into, into this. Uh, but the key idea is you start your mobile presence by picking parts of your desktop site. So let me see if I understand this correctly. So using your uh, your platform now, when they load their website into your platform, it shows them that 
screen where they can pick and choose which specific parts of their content they want to turn into a, a, a mobile web versions of the website. So they can pick and choose what they want the uh, mobile user to see immediately they come to the, uh, the website, right? Right, that's exactly right. You enter in a URL and you start uh, picking elements for the mobile presence uh, that we should about to create. Okay. Now, it's very important to uh, create elegant mobile experiences uh, that look really good. So you can see I have here uh, my design screen where the content which I picked is shown on the right. And it's kind of basic. It's just the content elements, nothing fancy. Mm -hmm. um, I also picked the logo so I can pick it in this design preview and move it up so the content block is, is up here. And on the left, I have my style sheet. So with Mobify Studio, you have to uh, have the basics of uh, mobile web design, web design down. So you can go in and adjust all the styles on this mobile site to be uh, to look really good. So if you're a web designer, you can just come right in and start changing all the elements which you want to adjust. As you can see, I just changed my font size from small to big because maybe it'll look better. Um, I can change font weights. I can uh, change backgrounds uh, for all the different elements. So really, it's a web design environment where they now can express uh, themselves um, uh, in the mobile medium as well. And you can also... So, and just so that uh, my audience understands, I mean, the, the whole sure. idea with this interview is to give you guys the information that you uh, and share with you the tools you can use. And if you're not so familiar with you know, the, the CSS or HTML part of the process, the whole idea is to find someone that you can outsource that task to. But if you know exactly what you want them to do, it's now a lot easier to, 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 to describe what you need them to do so that they can actually get the work done. So don't get confused by this part. It can easily be outsourced to somebody who has the experience. Go ahead. Like a virtual, like a virtual assistant. Right? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So I'll just um, uh, wrap up super quick. You can preview the way the site looks on different screen resolutions. Uh, this is just a quick preview. It would take a couple of hours. Oh, something is, is off. Take a couple of hours to make it look good on all the different platforms. We can see the final result by going to wired.com um, and um, looking at the amazing mobile layout that they created using Mobify Studio. Definitely. And you can use it on any website, WordPress, Drupal, you name it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the basics. And if you need more information, go to our website, mobify.me, and we'll answer any questions you might have about using the Studio tool um, and making mobile websites with it. Well, guys, it's really that simple. You go into the platform, choose what you want, and basically, voila, it becomes you know a, a, a mobile web uh, version of your website. I have a quite question, though, because wh what I noticed with some of these websites is when you go on there, you type in the usual domain name, you, it goes in and it shows you a, a different type of your domain name. Sometimes it will say the website .mobi, or sometimes it will start with an M dot the, the rest of the URL for the website. What is that though? Why is there a change in the URL? Right. Right. Um, in the, I guess in the old days, a few years ago, people thought that you might need a new internet just from mobile phones with new domain names like dot mobi. Mm -hmm. uh, but very quickly they realized that people continue to go to the same exact links that they're used to uh, from the desktop experience. So they would go to wired.com. Uh, and the dot mobi idea quickly faded. Now the M dot is just a different way to say, hey, we do have a mobile site. It's going to be fast and user friendly. Go to m dot my domain dot com. Uh, so it's a lot better for SEO because all the domains, all the URLs are still maintained. Um, and the m dot is probably something we're seeing the most today. But in the future, I think it's going to be just one URL, www dot uh, uh, wired dot com, and all the different devices that go there. Whether you're a desktop user, whether you're, you're an iPad or a tablet user or a mobile user. They'll all get an amazing experience that's going to be optimized for them. It's actually part of our new um, new product launches. We're trying to introduce new solutions that have exactly the same URL um, as as your desktop site. Okay, so I want to understand because you said something about uh, the, that they thought it was because of SEO reasons. That's why they had to separate it. So if one does the website, because one of the things I'm thinking I'm doing is once my new website uh, redesign is done. It's just basically having the mobile web version, the same domain name. How is that going to affect me, SEO-wise? So, uh, with Mobify, your, all your links are preserved, 
And uh, Google knows uh, that you have a mobile version. They might even rank you higher than before. Um, you know, it's, it's really up to them. But it's good to have a mobile site. And because your content is not duplicated, that's the most important part. If you have several websites, one for mobile, one for tablet, with different links and all the same content, then Google will think, oh, maybe it's not you know uh, a legit site. But in Mobify, you're just changing the way you display uh, your existing content for different uh, different screen size, and Google is uh, aware of this uh, of this approach, and um, they might rank you higher uh, on their on their on their search results. Okay, so it's basically not creating a whole branch of new content; it's just changing the way it's displayed to uh, allow it be enhanced for display on that specific uh, the iPad, uh, iPhone, Android, whatever. It that, that's what it's doing; it's, it's enhancing the display specifically for that device. Okay. I get that. Exactly. But your content isn't copied or duplicated, which is something that you don't want to do uh, if you have a, a, a big website. Definitely. I get that. This makes it really easy and, uh, you know, just go in and get it done. Yeah. And it's, and it's free, too, just to throw that in. If you're a web designer, you can just go in and use a free package and uh, have a mobile, mobile site up in no time. Yeah. And, and just again, so that the audience understand, if if all you gotta do is understand the concepts of what we sh what, what what the ego is sharing with you and explain that to somebody and you can outsource that you know for them to ha help you go on here and really get it done for you designed just the way yep. uh, you want it so voila it's really that easy and you said it's free that's that's right this uh, studio product uh, we offer it to the community to build more mobile sites and uh, it, it is free okay so that's the end of the demo Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed today's interview. And before you go, I want you to do me a favor. I'm trying to build my community of entrepreneurs who find my content useful on Facebook so we can engage, you know, have discussions live right there on Facebook. And to get to my page on Facebook, you go to www.facebook.com forward slash H-Y-V-A-S-S-I-S-T-A-N-T. And again, it's www.com. What am I saying? No, it's www.facebook.com forward slash H-Y-V-A-S-S-I-S-T-A-N-T. And when you get there, what you're going to do is look for the uh, a button that says like, and you click on that button, and then basically you uh, become a, a fan of the page. It's that simple. You don't even have to leave me your email. Just click on the button that says like. And again, the page to go to is www.facebook.com forward slash H-Y-V-A-S-S-I-S-T-A-N-T and that stands for Hive Assistance. Real easy. I look forward to seeing you on Facebook. Have a great day.